Today I'll be sharing with you how I cook oxtail in a crock pot. Hello everyone, I'm Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com and I love sharing videos on faith, family, home, and food. So if you haven't subscribed, please be sure to do so and click that little bell so you'll be notified when another video is uploaded. One of our family favorites are oxtail. Definitely not something we eat very often because they are expensive and we're squad deep up in this crib. In order for us to have a hearty serving of oxtail, I need to purchase at least four packs and I also can try to find some on sale. So let me stop talking and let's check out what ingredients you'll need to cook your oxtail in a crock pot. So the first thing you're gonna need are oxtail, of course. So I have these oxtails here. This pack was 1035. This pack right here, 1069. And this pack right here, 972. And my last pack here is 1014. And this is Rumba. This is a brand that I pick up from Food for Less. So from my family of six, um, this is um, the amount that would, you know, satisfy us so that we can have um, seconds with our meal so the first thing you're going to do is just going to clean off your oxtail I rinse them until the water is clear so like I was saying um four packs is suitable for my family if your family is smaller you can use less packs and if it's larger you may still um, want to use four packs and just make sure you add size with it what I add with mine um, will be some beans rice and some cornbread or bread um, so you can make sure it's a nice hearty meal and everyone will enjoy it so as you see here my water is pretty much running clear and like I say, I rinse them off, you know, really well to just make sure they're nice and clean. Now here are some of the seasonings I will be using. So here I have parsley. I have one, a half a tablespoon of parsley. I have one tablespoon of Old Bay. A half a tablespoon of mesquite herb fajita season. One teaspoon of lime pepper a half a teaspoon of seasoning salt, a half teaspoon of Cajun seasoning, a half a teaspoon of garlic, and a half a teaspoon of paprika. And I just put it in this container right here, and I'm gonna use this to rub over my oxtail. Also, later I will be using more seasoning salt when I can taste it, as well as some um, Slap Your Mama seasoning. So I'm just sprinkling it over my oxtail. And then I just rub it in really well to make sure all of my oxtail are covered. Now in your pack, you will have some large oxtail and some little small ones. I really enjoy the small ones for myself. My family like the large ones. The small ones are so, so tender. Um, the large ones are tender too, but you know, with the meat being just less on the small ones, they, they are just so delicious. So I just make sure I season it really well and I get it, you know, covered really well. And this is what I start with. Like I said at the end, I will be adding a little more seasoning when I can taste it. I always add, you know, more seasoning later rather than over season or end up having my food too salty. So just keep that in mind. And if you do not have all these seasons, please don't go out and buy them substitute with what you have already on hand you can use your seasoning salt garlic parsley basic seasonings that you probably already have on hand you can use um, I'm not a recipe person I'm always using what I have um, so please be sure to do that it keeps your food um, you know less expensive to have to go out and get a whole bunch of seasonings that you may not use as often so the first thing I do is I oil the bottom of my crock pot. 
So be sure to lightly oil it with some vegetable oil, olive oil. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to lay my oxtail in my crock pot. And I start off with the largest at the bottom because you want them to cook a little bit more versus putting the little ones at the bottom and they cook you know you don't want them to cook as much because they are so small so I start off start off layering the larger oxtail at the bottom of my crock pot and just fit them in like a little puzzle and then I go in and I add the smaller ones on top of the larger ones because I want the larger ones you know to get a little bit more heat penetration versus the ones on top they'll cook a little slower eventually um, as they cook the small ones will fall to the bottom but that's fine I just don't want them to start off that way okay so now I'm going to add in two cups of water And I'm going to turn my crock pot on high and put on the lid. Now I'll also begin to check my oxtail at the three hour mark. And now this is like the four and a half hour mark. And as you can see, they are nice and tender. I want them falling from the bone, but um, I still want some texture to them. So I don't want them just totally depleted in my pot. <laughs> I do want them really nice and tender to taste. Um, now this is also the time where I'll add in the extra seasoning because I can now taste my oxtail and see what else they need. So I'm going to add in some seasoning salt and some of this slap your mama. Now this is also the time that you don't go overboard with your seasoning salt and your salts because you don't want it to end up salty and you'll just ruin the whole dish. And then you'll have to spend time trying to recover the dish um, from it being salty. So that is it, you all. This is how I make my oxtail in a crock pot. And now I'm just going to serve it up with some beans, some rice, and some cornbread. And we are going to eat good tonight. So i like to thank you guys for watching and I hope if you haven't cooked oxtail or if you haven't cooked them in a crock pot, I have inspired you to do so. So leave a comment in the comment section below if you have already cooked your oxtail in a crock pot or if you plan on doing it. And when you do, make sure you come on back and let me know how your family enjoyed it. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.